In early April, Boris Johnson marched through the streets of Kyiv alongside Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky just days after Russian troops had withdrawn from the outskirts of the city. The two men forged a close bond. Johnson made this pledge in his resignation speech Thursday. And let me say now to the people of Ukraine that I know that we in the UK will continue to back your fight for freedom for as long as it takes. Zelensky offered this tribute in return. Although it is a reflection of the position of British society, the leadership and charisma of the state's leaders are always of particular importance, especially during these times, the time of Russia's full-scale anti-European war, which launched an attack on all Europe via our country. So it is not surprising that Ukrainians feel personal gratitude to Boris. Many Ukrainians expressed sadness at Johnson's resignation. Britain will offer further support, but it will not be in the same way as with Boris Johnson. We can say he is a friend of our country. Britain is second only to the United States in the amount of military aid it has given Ukraine, including anti-tank rockets artillery and, most recently, advanced multiple launch rocket systems, or MLRSs. Hundreds of Ukrainian troops are receiving training in Britain. In total, Johnson pledged $2.8 billion of military support, alongside $1.8 billion in humanitarian and economic aid. Will his resignation spell a change in Britain's level of support for Ukraine? Unlikely, says analyst John Kampfner. Not only because um, it has been, by the standards of this conflict, um, as successful as any country's approach has been, but also domestically it's popular too. Britain's Defence Secretary Ben Wallace emphasised the cross-party backing for the military support given to Ukraine. Britain is full square behind them and, you know, the assistance to Ukraine we give is not just one person, you know, we're not me, not the Prime Minister, it's the whole effort. Moscow welcomed Johnson's resignation. A foreign ministry spokesperson said the moral of the story was do not seek to destroy Russia. Johnson also sought to reposition Britain in other security arenas, emphasising the importance of the so-called AUKUS Security Pact with Australia and the US in the Indo-Pacific. But its role is limited, argues Kampfner. This um, shift more towards Asia and specifically the power and the threat posed by China, which was set out in the British government's integrated review of just over a year ago, is an important thing. But Britain can only be a player alongside as you say, the other AUKUS countries, the United States in particular, Australia and Japan, but also the European Union is increasingly an important player, as are countries like South Korea. Thank you. After his resignation, Johnson called a number of world leaders. Among the first was a call to Zelensky, reiterating Britain's support. He ended the conversation by telling the Ukrainian president, you're a hero, everybody loves you.